Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to find the indices of the first and last occurrences of the target element in C++. In this program, the elements of the given array are sorted in increasing order. We will only print the first and last positions of the target element. We will discuss and implement linear search algorithm and binary search algorithm both in our today's tutorial. Let's start with linear search. Basically, we will traverse the entire array to find the first and the last occurrences in linear search. Let's start the program. Declare a variable n to store the size of the array. Input size of the array. Declare an array of n size. Input elements of the array. Declare a variable x to store the element. Input the element to find its first and last occurrences in the array. Declare two variables. First to store the first occurrence. And last to store the last occurrence. We will initialize them with minus 1. We will start traversing the array using a loop. When we first encounter the element x in the array, we will store the index in the first and last variables. But for the next occurrences of x, we will not update the variable first. Instead, we will only update the last variable with the current index. In order to do this update, we will check the value of the variable first. If the value is minus 1, that is, we are facing x for the first time, we will update both the variables. Otherwise, we will only update the variable last.
after complete iteration. Check if first is equal to minus 1 then print not found. Else print values of first and last variables respectively. Let's run the program. Now we will implement binary search algorithm. First, we will declare three variables. Start, end and mid. And initialize variables start and end. To find the first position, we will use a while loop that will terminate if start becomes greater or equal to end. Inside loop we will find mid. Then we will check if element at mid is smaller than x. If yes, then we will set start to mid plus 1. Otherwise we will set end to mid. After termination of while loop check if the target element is found. If target element is not present, print not found and return. Otherwise store the value of start in first variable. To find the last position, use a while loop that will terminate if start is greater or equal to end. Inside loop find mid. 
Then check if element at mid is greater than x, if yes, then set in to mid minus 1. Otherwise set, start to mid. After termination of while loop check if element is found. If yes, then set last to start. Now print the value of first and last variables. Let's run the program. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe the channel.